Hey guys, Captain J-Rod here. I've heard a lot of people mention, and I've seen some posts and some Facebook groups, about how they have trouble identifying species of fish. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss the one thing that helped me get better at identifying species of fish that you can use too, and maybe even look impressive the next time you go fishing. All right, so as I mentioned before, I've recently heard of a lot of people who have trouble identifying fish species, and that is really understandable, especially if you live in a place like Florida, where the ocean has a lot of biodiversity. I've seen a lot of posts in a big Facebook group I'm in where people catch a fish and post a picture of it in the group to get help identifying it. By the time people respond to the post with the name of the fish, most people have already thrown back their catch. And I've seen it where someone catches a legal size, good tasting fish, but tossed it back because they didn't know what it was. And before I get into what's going to help us identify fish, I want to say that I think it's very important to be well versed in what kind of fish you might catch for three reasons. The first reason is positive and the other two are, well, a little bit more precarious. Number one. You may catch a great tasting fish, but usually if you don't know what it is, you'll throw it back out of caution, which is frankly the right thing to do. But then you'll kick yourself later if you didn't keep it and you find out that it was a delicacy. Number two, you need to know whether or not the fish you are handling is toxic to humans. Poisonous to the touch, and if it has spikes or gill plates of some sort, that can really hurt you. And finally, number three, we all need to be conservationists and look out for invasive species. There are species of fish that are not native to certain waters that need to be eradicated from those waters. The lionfish in Florida is a great example of all three reasons. Its spines are poisonous and it is invasive from the Great Barrier Reef, but it actually tastes pretty good. But don't fear guys, because I have a solution that can help you out a lot. The solution is this book right here. Sport Fish of the Gulf of Mexico by Vic Dunaway. Now, I don't want to exclude a lot of people, and I don't want this video to be just for people who live on the Gulf Coast. So before I go any further, I want to mention that there are several versions of this book, Sport Fish of the Atlantic, Sport Fish of Florida, Freshwater Sport Fish, and Sport Fish of the Pacific. So if you live in another region, this video is still applicable to you. And if you get the right version, you can basically just apply what I'm saying in this video to your respective region. Now, more about this book and how it can help you guys out. This book literally has every fish that swims in the Gulf of Mexico mentioned in it with a picture paired. And whether they are good table fare and description of their behavior. When I was younger, I started to get more serious about fishing, and this book helped me out a ton. It was also fun to identify fish I had not caught before and add them to my bucket list of fish to catch. And it's important to mention, this really isn't a sit down and read for a couple of hours type of book, although it can be if you want. Um, it's really more of something that you can just sit on your coffee table, and when you're bored or you have a few minutes to unwind, you can just pick this up and read about a few fish, fish species and set it back down. So if you are sick of not knowing what you're catching or you just want to get better at identifying fish for some of the reasons I mentioned, go ahead and pick up this book or the version that applies to you. They sell all the versions on Amazon. I promise you I'm not endorsed by those affiliated with this book in any way. I just really like this book and I think it helped me out a ton. And if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. I plan on making a lot more videos like it. And if you didn't, please let me know what you think I could have done better in the comments section. And one last thing, if you guys like this shirt that I'm wearing, it's from a pretty cool company called Keepers Only. And if you go to their website, www.keepersonly.co and use code C-A-P-T-J-R-O-D, you can get 15% off your order. Thanks, and God bless.